Did you know there's one type of carb that does not spike your insulin? Over the years, carbohydrates have gotten a bad reputation. That's because eating too many carbs can quickly raise your blood sugar levels, which is often followed by an insulin spike. Insulin is your body's fat-storing hormone, and excess consumption of carbs can lead to obesity, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. Now, the one type of carbohydrate that you don't have to worry about is the one most people don't get enough. This healthy carb doesn't affect your blood sugar levels, and it's also good for your gut health. In today's video, we'll be going over the top 10 carbs you can eat that do not spike your insulin. Make sure to watch until the end to learn about the finger-looking fruit that has almost no carbs and can help improve your cholesterol profile. As always, this video is educational and does not constitute medical advice. We are not doctors. First, carbohydrates are divided into three different types, sugars, starches, and fiber. Among these three, fiber stands out from the rest as the only type of carb that doesn't spike your insulin. That's because your body cannot break down most fibers. While the majority of the foods you eat contain a combination of all three types of carbs, some foods more than others have a higher concentration of fiber with little to no sugar or starches. So, if you're trying to lose weight and improve your insulin sensitivity, these fiber-rich foods are perfect for the job. Number 10. Zucchini At 3 grams of carbs per cooked cup, zucchini provides a great low-carb alternative to pasta. It can be spiralized or sliced to replace spaghetti, linguine, or lasagna noodles in recipes. Zucchini is also rich in several vitamins, minerals, and contains small amounts of iron, calcium, zinc, and several other B vitamins. Number 9. Green Beans Green beans are full of antioxidants, including vitamin C, flavanols, quercetin, and camphorol. These antioxidants help fight free radicals in the body, which helps to reduce cell damage and may help lower your risk of health complications. Green beans contain a decent amount of vitamin K and calcium. Together, these important nutrients help maintain strong, healthy bones while also reducing your risk of fractures. Number 8. Mushrooms These contain high amounts of beta-glucan, which is a form of soluble fiber that's been found in multiple studies to improve cholesterol levels and heart health. Although more research is needed, oyster and shiitake mushrooms are currently believed to have the most effective beta-glucans. Number 7. Artichokes Eating this low-carb vegetable can help protect your liver from damage and promote new tissue growth. It also increases the production of bile, which helps remove harmful toxins from your liver. In one study, participants with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease showed that consuming 600 mg of artichoke extract daily for two months led to improved liver function. Another similar study found that taking artichoke extract daily lowered liver inflammation and reduced fat deposition. Scientists believe that cyanurin and silymarin, which are found in artichokes, are partly responsible for these benefits. Number 6. Asparagus This non-starchy vegetable is an excellent source of vitamin B9, also known as folate. Just half a cup of asparagus provides adults with 34% of their daily folate needs. Folate is a vital nutrient that helps build red blood cells and produce DNA for healthy growth and development. Number 5. Okra Sometimes referred to as lady's finger, okra is not only a fruit with little to no carbs, but it also contains a thick gel-like substance called mucilage. During digestion, mucilage can bind to cholesterol and help your body get rid of any excess. Number 4. Celery At just 10 calories a stalk, celery is more than just a low-calorie vegetable. It's also a natural anti-inflammatory. In fact, celery and celery seeds contain approximately 25 anti-inflammatory compounds that can help reduce and prevent inflammation in your body. Number 3. Lettuce In studies, this vegetable has been found to have anti-inflammatory, cholesterol-lowering, and anti-diabetic properties. Depending on what type of lettuce you eat, nutrient composition and bioactive compounds can vary. For example, romaine lettuce contains as much folate as other rich leafy vegetable sources. Red pigmented lettuce contains higher phenolic compounds than green lettuce. Baby green romaine lettuce contains high amounts of vitamin C. Number 2. Spinach Spinach is rich in zeaxanthin and lutein, which are the carotenoids that can help protect your eyes from damage caused by sunlight.
Additionally, several studies indicate that zeaxanthin and lutein work to prevent macular degeneration and cataracts, which are major causes of blindness. Number 1. Cruciferous Vegetables These low-carb vegetables contain a group of cancer-fighting compounds known as glucosinolates. During food preparation, chewing, and digestion, the glucosinolates in cruciferous vegetables turn into biologically active compounds such as indoles, nitriles, biocyanates, and isothiocyanates. In studies, indoles and isothiocyanates have been found to inhibit the development of cancer in several organs in rats and mice, including the bladder, breast, colon, liver, lung, and stomach. There you have it, the top 10 carbs that do not spike insulin levels. If you are concerned about your blood sugar levels and want to fix the root cause of prediabetes and type 2 diabetes, click the link below to watch a free video. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video. And now, over to you, are you already eating any of these low-carb vegetables? Have you noticed lower blood sugar levels? Leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. To get daily health tips for optimizing your nutrition and lifestyle so you can feel amazing naturally, join our free email newsletter by clicking the link below. And be sure to check out our other videos.